All right, so I'm gonna show you all something that I think is really cool. I've heard of people doing this. I had not tried it until yesterday. So check this out. This is an old F-350. I'm turning into a farm trailer and it had a bunch of stuff riveted all over the frame on this. And uh, it actually had some reinforcements. Like there were these plates that ran down like this. You can still see the outline here, you know where it ends there actually. And uh, since I have to bend these in, I had to get rid of these plates and that means all these rivets have to go. And uh, I've discovered a way, not really discovered, I've been told a way to do this without using a torch or plasma cutter or something because when you do that, you run the risk of nicking the frame like I did here a little bit. And the other thing is, this is a little different because I've pretty much stripped everything off of this. It isn't necessary to turn it into a trailer, but if you're working on a truck and there's like fuel lines running on the opposite side of the frame, you probably don't want to be torching on rivets like three eighths of an inch away. And this is a good way to avoid that. And I think it's just plain kind of cool. So this is uh, the air hammer that we're gonna use. We're essentially just gonna chisel through these things. Now this is not your average run of the mill air hammer. This is a CP717. It's a, uh, it was not cheap, but it was a definite buy once cry once item. And you know what? The longer I have this thing, the more glad that I am that I own it because I find, I find myself using this so much. So I'll show you guys how I chisel through rivets like this and remove them. Now it is important to point out that we need a very sharp chisel for this. I've taken this one, I believe this one most recently over to the uh, bench grinder and sharpened it up. That one needs it. Okay, so I've learned doing this that working with the wider chisel will help prevent this from kind of like walking off the side of the rivets. And the hardest part of it is getting set up so you're actually working in this because when you start, as you guys saw, there's no valley to center that chisel in, so to speak. So it just pew, 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 wants to pop off every single which way. Uh, and the second hardest part is driving out what's left of the rivets. Sometimes they come right out, other times they are really, really, really in there. <laughs> oh, that launch. Now normally you want to be really careful and not really do what I just did because that takes metal off of the frame itself but I'm not really worried about it because like I said, we're gonna put heavy plates over this whole thing anyway. So losing that 16th of an inch here or whatever it is, is not that, it's not really anything to worry about. But if I was putting this back on the street as is, you know, these frame rails are only a quarter inch thick and we've taken away like, you know, 20, 30% of that, that would be a concern.
that's another lesson that I'm learning the hard way. You would think if a tiny bit of the divot that you're punching into this by using this is on the frame, you know, it's just like push up into the rivet, it will not. You have to make sure this is on the rivet. And if you get a false start like I did, as you guys just saw, I wasn't really planning to demonstrate that, but I ended up doing it nonetheless. Uh, we gotta work with this in the center here. Oh yeah. Blades out. You are coming out of here all the way. Okay, good. That will be ready to reinstall later. Behold, random video of the day. Uh, I will say I really, really, really like this impact, or this uh, air chisel. It is not perfect. The trigger, I don't like the trigger mechanism. It like binds up a little bit. Uh, I put some oil on it and that helped a lot, but you have to push straight in. If you push in from an angle, it likes to bind. Uh, and I guess actually the oil helped quite a bit. But you know, it is, it is a very, very, very good tool. I'm glad I have it. This is just another use for this thing. I find myself using it all the time. Um, random video of the day. Just wanted to show this off because people have been telling me for years this is possible. I've not actually done it until yesterday and now today also. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Video's over. Everybody go home.